It's our big story at six. The start of gun deer season offers lots in terms of economic impact in Wisconsin. As of this morning, 828,664 licenses have been sold. It's a $1 billion industry, but with the change of how hunters can register their deer this year, going online instead of in person, some register stations are taking a hit. NBC 26's Eric Kress joins us live at six with more. You can still find some register stations like gas stations and bars where you can show up and register your deer in person. But let's be honest, the convenience of doing it yourself from the woods has a certain appeal that most hunters are taking advantage of. At Rower's Grand Slam in Brussels, deer registration used to bring in more than just one kind of bucks. Well, right now the bar would be lined and you know there'd be people standing around telling deer stories. Uh, this is where we always would come and, and the road would be lined with cars and deer and you know people registering. But this year hunters have the option of avoiding places like this and registering their bony electronically. I thought it would take more time than that. All you do is type in your customer ID, date of birth and then uh, the date harvested. On an average opener this place would register about 100 deer by day's end but today so far this year, I've registered six. And even the one hunter we ran into? I'm happy. <laughs> registering his deer in person says he understands why. It's so much easier. You don't have to make an extra trip and spend all the extra time. You know, just take out your phone and get it done. You know, I could have done it from the woods. Convenience aside, some things are lost through the new process, though. You got to tell your story somewhere. Like a sense of accomplishment, bragging rights, if you will, that you just can't find online. I always feel bad when I leave here because I, I see what's out there that I usually don't see. We've seen a few big bucks come in because they want to show it off, but it's sad because there's not a lot of people to show them off to anymore. So as registration stations like this prepare for a potential evening rush. Opening day was one of my bigger days of the year. And you know, I'd call it a top 10. I think it's safe to say if the hunters don't come, there's still some positives to come out of the new change. I prepared for it not to be slow because I, I didn't know exactly what to expect, but uh, now I expect to be deer hunting next year <laughs> instead of registering deer. To find the nearest registration station that you can visit in person, just check out this story on our website. Eric Crest, NBC 26.